So I'm out in the garage today and I stumbled across something. I thought, should I put it away and just forget about it forever? No, you know what? Let's just install it on the car and be done. Now this is a factory accessory catalog option for 73 I think for sure but I think for 73 74 all those years of Mopar A bodies it uh if you can see right here made by draw tight in Belleville Michigan but uh anyway I bought this when I bought a bumper and it just so happened to be on there so I cleaned it up and decided what the heck I'm gonna put it on my car I've got a small trailer and I thought, you know what, nothing would be cooler than uh, if you ended up, you know, maybe go pick up a motor or something like that. Why not take the duster? This will make stuff like that possible. And if nothing else, it's just another weird, quirky, stupid option that I'm going to add to my car. So follow along and I'll show you how this goes. Should be just a direct bolt on from what I remember from taking it off of that old bumper. Now, the back part of it actually just supports itself by the trunk pan which i think is kind of dumb so probably what i'll do even if i don't do it right away probably what i'll do is i'll just put some kind of a angle iron support brace or something back there and go from from uh frame to frame or something like that just to support that back i know it doesn't really it's never gonna hold much if any weight but it's one of them things I'll feel a whole lot better if I do it that way. So that's what it's going to look like. Just got it held up there with uh, Jack on top of a milk crate. It's certainly not the going to hold up the weight of the car, but it's going to hold this in place to give me an idea where I need to drill my holes. I think that's going to be mint. So at the back, I just got those two uh, bolts just through the, through the spare tire well. And uh, I... I, I've got to reinforce that at some point, but you know what? That's how the factory did it. So at least to hold this thing on here, it'll be good for now. And I ended up having to drill a 3 8 hole here and a 3 8 hole there just to uh, bolt this back piece on. But if you look, it holds the edges of the factory license plate bracket beautifully. You can tell this was definitely made for this application and uh if nothing else it'll be a conversation piece anyways thanks for watching